in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about DNA replication. So what is DNA replication? DNA replication is a process in which double-stranded DNA molecule is copied to produce two new DNA molecules. This is called DNA replication. DNA replication is a process in which a double-stranded DNA molecule is copied to produce two identical DNA molecule. If you look at the structure of the DNA, we have here two strands. So one strand is from 5 prime to 3 prime and the other strand is from 3 prime to 5 prime. So what? So this 5 prime to 3 prime strand, this is called leading strand. Okay, this is called leading strand. Whereas 3 prime to 5 prime strand, this is called lagging strand. Okay, DNA replication is called semi-conservative process because in in the newly synthesized dna molecule we have one old strand okay and one new strand okay dna replication is a semi-conservative process because each dna molecule is made up of one old conserved strand of dna and one new strand of dna that's why it is semi-conservative that means half conservative okay so then how dna replication occurs first step in the DNA replication process is the unwinding of double-stranded DNA. That means we have here double-stranded DNA molecule. This double-stranded DNA molecule has to be unwinded. Okay, so what is the enzyme that is responsible for this? The enzyme responsible for this process is called DNA helicase. Simply this DNA helicase breaks the bone between these double strand and it unwinds the double-stranded DNA molecule into single strand and each of these single strand they act as a template for the synthesis of new DNA molecule. The next step in DNA replication process is priming of the template strand. The enzyme called primase, okay, the enzyme called primase is responsible for the synthesis of small segment, small segment of nucleotide single single standard small segment of nucleotide that is called primer this primer is added uh, to the template strand this strand is called template strand and then what happens is that once the primer is added um, added to the to the template strand the enzyme the enzyme called dna polymerase okay the enzyme called dna polymerase starts adding nucleotides okay it starts adding nucleotide a g c t uh, from you know continuously from five prime to three prime direction like this okay it starts adding nucleotide from five prime to three prime and these nucleotide should be complementary to each other that means a with g and c with t okay adenine with guanine and cytosine with thymine so then uh, what we will have once the addition of the nucleotide, the complementary basis is completed by DNA polymerase, we will have a new DNA molecule. This is a new DNA molecule. As you can see that in this new DNA molecule, we have half. This is the newly synthesized, okay? This is the newly synthesized strand, whereas we have half old strand. This strand is the old strand. Therefore, DNA replication process is called semi-conservative process. So the next, here we have only used one template strand, okay, this three prime to five prime, five prime template strand, but we still have one more template strand, okay, that is from five prime to three prime end. So therefore, the lagging strand cannot be made in the continuous way because it runs in the opposite direction, that is three prime to five prime direction. DNA polymerase can make this strand in a series of small fragments called Okazaki fragments, okay? So now the, the remaining, remaining strand, which is this 5' prime to 3' prime strand, so this will be used as a template. Then what will happen is that prime, primase will make the primer and the primer will be added, uh, primer will be added to the template strand. Then afterwards, what happens? The enzyme DNA polymerase adds the nucleotides from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so the addition will not happen in this direction rather addition will happen from this direction okay so that means this direction so this fragment and the and the dna polymerase will add nucleotides 
in the form of fragment because this is okazaki okazaki fragment okay so this is one fragment and similarly uh, the dna polymerase will add another fragment okay so now the fragment has been added and it will add another fragment so now here we have the primer this is one fragment this is another fragment and this is another fragment okay this is okazaki fragment and finally the all the fragments will be added okay finally all the fragments will be added in the form of okazaki fragment to the template strands and and what will be done finally is that the enzyme called dna ligase will seal up both the fragments to form a continuous double strand okay so then this will actually complete elongation of the new strand and the assembly of the new dna molecule so from one original dna molecule we now have two new identical dna molecules what happens if an error occurs during the replication process an error uh, may occur because sometimes nucleotide bases may be inserted deleted or mismatched into the dna strand incorrectly so then this error is repaired and the process is called dna repair process and there are at least five different pathways that are involved in dna repair pathways such as base excision repair nucleotide excision repair mismatch repair homologous recombination and non-homologous end joining